All right, now we're going to turn to high profile attorney Jeffrey Figer suffering a stroke. We received a statement from Figer's wife and his law partner that says on March 1st, Figer had an elective and standard procedure to deal with a minor heart arrhythmia. But following the procedure, he suffered a stroke. That statement goes on to say, quote, Jeffrey is awake, resting comfortably and actively engaging in rehabilitation. As we all know, Jeffrey is a true fighter and is working hard in his recovery. But joining us right now is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. So, Dr. Nandy, how common are strokes after a procedure like Jeffrey Figer underwent? Yeah, I'm sure everybody's asking that. Any procedure, Carolyn, comes with risk, right? Suppose Jeffrey Figer had what's, what's called a catheter ablation for this arrhythmia that he had. In that case, a thin tube is inserted up to the heart to deliver electrical energy to disconnect the pathway of the irregular rhythm. Now, complications with this type of procedure are generally low, but can include bleeding, infection, damage to the heart valve, as well as stroke. Complications from stroke due to catheter ablation are rare and reportedly have a 0.3% risk of stroke overall. Now, we know he had the stroke on March 1st, but what kind of recovery is he looking at after something like this? That's, that's a big question. His prognosis, Carolyn, varies on, and it depends on how severe the stroke was and how quickly it was treated. I saw that he was undergoing rehabilitation. That was great. And so generally, the faster a patient receives treatment after a stroke, they'll be better off uh, then, and, and then they'll be starting rehabilitation very quickly after the stroke, and that treatment is vital to recovery. Generally, the most rapid recovery happens during the first three to four months, but depending on how severe the stroke was, it could take up to a year or two. Recovery looks different for everyone. You know, my prayers go out to him, but I think that the fact that he underwent rehabilitation very quickly, I think it's, that, that gives us a good idea that he's going to have a good prognosis. You know, a lot of people, we've been watching him on cases for so long, so many people are, are thinking about him and his family, and I'm sure sending a lot of prayers just like you just Absolutely. did. Absolutely. Dr. Nandy, thank you as always for your expertise. We always appreciate you. My pleasure. So much again, thinking about Jeffrey Figer and hoping for the best in his recovery. Mike? Okay.